today I'm going to share five winter homeschool favorites. My number one favorite, I'm going to start out with these banana grams. Mia got these for Christmas, and we are loving them. They are just litter tiles, and they're really nicely made. And it's a game, and um, me and Mia have played, and Mia plays with her friends, but they're really great for also our spelling words and vocabulary words, so just spell them out and... Um, Mackenzie really enjoys spelling her spelling words out with these. So that is my first one. My second one, a couple of these are like printables or curriculum based. So I have noticed I have not really done any art with my kids. We have put that on the back burner so much that I've never, I haven't even got it to done anything art wise with them at all this school year and really last year. Art is not my strong suit. We have done sketches and nature journaling a little bit, and we haven't done hardly any nature journaling this school year, but I wanted to be really more uh, attentional with my artwork. So I downloaded a free art curriculum. It's like a sample. It's 13 lessons for free, and it's redemptive, redemptiveartistry.com, and she has... Like I said, a 13 lesson free elementary art curriculum. So I printed it out and this is the first lesson. You're gonna work on a color wheel. And it's really, I've looked through all the lessons and they're really nice and simple and easy. So it's not super intimidating for me or hard for me to get all the, the supplies I need. Like for this, you need just need to paint, uh, paint and we use a paper plate to put the paint on and the color wheel template. So, and it gives you like a description of what you're doing and then supplies and also a preschool idea. So, which is amazing because this part is for elementary kids and this part was for Marley even though she did it with us. She didn't do the Play-Doh. Lisa just Play-Doh for that preschool. But she just joined us and it was really easy for her to do. She had no problem being a three-year-old doing the work with the eight-year-old and the five-year-old. So... I'm really excited that I found this. Right, she also has one for sale and it's one lesson per month. So it's 12 lessons and it's just, it's beautiful what she, she has pictures on her website and um, we'll probably buy that once we finish up with these 13 lessons. So that is number two on my homeschool favorites. Number three is this handwriting workbook. So that Mian is working on cursive and I just love this workbook. We have barely done any of it throughout this since this first half of the school year. But now I'm like, wow, we really need to up our cursive game. So she is now doing it once a day and she only does one section. Like she'll do little I, big I, and today um yesterday she did little J and today she did big J. So that's what's taken us so long, so she's not doing a whole page a day. So once she gets over these letters then she'll put them together I don't know if you can see that but she'll put them together to make words and then okay, skip ahead then she'll work on sentences and do a kind of copy work so yeah I love how I love this workbook and I, love, I just like how clean it is it's just very clean looking to me it's not overwhelming to my eyes or to hers because she gets overwhelmed with a bunch of color and all that jazz. All right, my next favorite is this Draw Right Now printable from 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1 <laughs> website. And I love this. We use, like I said, we use it with our Draw Right Now, which I get from the library. I realized our library carries it, which is awesome. And this is what the printable It's blank, and then it has the copy work that's in the book dotted on dotted lines down here. So Kinsey uses this, which is awesome. She loves it this way because she would do the picture and then she would try to do the words at the bottom, 
but it's a lot of words. And so she was getting frustrated, and I was like, don't worry about doing the words. Just, you can just draw the picture, but of course she didn't want to. So now that I found this, she can just trace the words, which she likes. She likes tracing. And draw the picture up there. Like, this is me at. So she does that, and I'll laminate that and add it to her book. And so that is that. And my last one, my last homeschool favorite is this craft box. McKinsey, this is from Walmart, and McKinsey got this for Christmas. And she is my artsy girl. She is creative, and she loves making things, painting, coloring, drawing. She loves to do it. So Santa Claus got her this, and it has all kinds of crafty things, glue sticks, pom-poms, um, whatever this is, <laughs> stringy stuff, pipe cleaners, duct tape. It is just decked out in all kinds of crafty items. That way it can kind of stay contained in this and it's all together and she doesn't have to get out five different of all my craft stuff. She could just get out this one box, pull it out at the table and keep it all together. I still have to vacuum and sweep up tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, oh my gosh, teeny, tiny pieces of paper. <laughs> and I still have to clean up all the paint off the table, but this at least helps a little bit with the mess. So this is definitely one of my favorite favorites. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have. I don't really buy much for this, for homeschool. And I just have been using what we have been using and what I have on the bookshelves. I will probably have a homeschool haul coming up soon, pretty soon once my stuff comes in. So I will share that with you next.